And welcome back, Electric Races, to another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Dark Violet version on the GBA emulator. In the last episode, we made our way to Cinnabar Island from Pallet Town. And in today's episode, we're just going to be... Oh, here's Daisy. Hi, EG. I've been waiting for you for a long time. Sorry, Daisy. It took a few episodes. I apologize for that. Green must have told you that the purple rock at the Pewter Museum has been stolen. Yes, he has. You're right? Yep. Yeah. He said, Tim, he said, um, he, Green actually said, I'm sorry, not Green, Nick, I think it was Nick, it was either Nick or Green that told us that it was, um, Giovanni's son that took, that stole the purple stone, which is part of the axis. We all believe that it was Cayman who did it. Wait, Green and Nick are not here? Where are they? Here they are. I'm sorry, Miss Daisy. We are late. Okay, now that everyone is here, I think it's time to talk about what to do next. We all agree that it was most likely Cayman who stole the purple rock from the museum. I suspect that Cayman would n would have taken it to Birth Island. All of us should go there and find what he is up to. But how do we get there? Don't worry, Nick. I have a plan. Looks like our boat looks like our boat arrived, ready to set sail for Birth Island. Of course, we don't have much time to waste. Well, that's it. Let's go. So we're taking the boat to go to Birth Island, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, hey there. Do you want to go back to Cinnabar Island? No. So we, can, we have to go up further to Birth Island. So, everyone showed up. I know you found out it was me who took that purple rock. In fact, I'm here to bring Deoxys back to life. The only thing I need to complete it to do now is to complete the puzzle. And then I'll catch Deoxys. I am doing I am doing is for the greater good. It's better in my hands than my old man's. Sorry, I will keep it away from him so he won't be able to do anything to get it. Now I need to complete the puzzle. Don't try to stop me. Okay, let's begin. I'm sure this purple rock will form into Deoxys soon. Deoxys, you'll be mine. I'll catch you with this Master Ball. Alright, I'll be right back in one second. Oh, and I'm sorry about that. Very well. You're mine now, Deoxys. Now I have saved Kanto. And that the devil's prism is now useless. In fact, I took two master balls from Silphco. And I used one of them just now. Now that I've caught Deoxys, the second master ball is no longer useful. If you want it, just take it. See you later. We obtained the master ball, ladies and gentlemen. Put the master ball in the item bag in the bag's items pocket. 
Master Ball is the best Pokeball to ever have because it can catch any Pokemon without fail. He left. Darn it, we couldn't do anything at all. Does this mean we failed? Don't blame yourself. You tried your best. Now there is now there is nothing to be done here. I think we should go back to Cinnabar Island right now. Okay, let's move. Let's actually just see if we can surf over here. Or if the water is too fast to move to surf. Nope, you can't surf on Burf Island. Okay. So I didn't know that. Ahoy there. Do you want to go back to Cinnabar? Yes. Okay, everything is in order. The Sea Gallop High Speed 7 will be departing immediately. Where's this building right here? It is the Pokemon Mansion. Right next to it is the Cinnabar Market. Unique items found nowhere else. And here's the gym, but the door is locked. So right now I'm just going to be going into the Cinnabar Mansion. After I get some items, I'll be right back with you in one second. And I am back. Sorry about that. Just wanted to make sure we had enough items to go in here. So now we're going to be going into Cinnabar Mansion. So that we can try to go into the 8th and final gym of the Kanto, of the Kanto region. It's the 8th eighth, eighth gym in this game, but the 7th gym in the main game. And we encounter a level 52 Hound Hour. So let's go for a fly and see if we can take this thing out. Train as well. It misses flamethrower. It uses flamethrower which is not very effective on flamey. Let's go for a fire fang and see if we can take it out. Oh jeez, it's got flash fire. That is not good. Alright, so gotta take it out of the two flies. I, I forgot Hound Hours Hound Doom's ability of Um Forgot about its hidden ability of its ability of flash fire. What what what? You startled me. I thought you were a ghost. How could I startle you? I just stepped down one step and you were right there. We are against Youngster Johnson, who sends out an Ekans. A level 54 Ekans. So in 10 minutes, so we can use... I forget if Flamey is a physical or a special. Flamey is a special, okay. That's what I thought, but I wanted to make sure. So let's just use a Flamethrower on his Ekans. There goes Ekans. Here comes another Ekans. Let's just stay with Flaming. So Flaming's attack its stage is now lowered by two. But again, Flame is a special attacker, not a physical. So Flamey is about halfway to level 57. Next up is Eradicate. Let's let Anger take care of this Eradicate for us. Anger is level 56 Primate. Alright, let's go for a Rock Smash and see if we can take it out in one try. We almost take it out in a try. And we also get Eradicate's defense to fall. 
beverage does recoil damage back. Let's take it out with the iron wheel. There goes Radicate. We defeated Youngster Johnson. <laughs> can't believe I can't get any wins. We got 880 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all in here. Hope you all are having a good and hope you're all having a great Friday morning or a great Friday where you guys are at. For me, it is just starting and it's going to be a great day today, I can tell. Because I would like to wish my brother Yanks a happy 27th birthday today. Um, so I'd like you guys all to put in the comments section. Happy birthday to Yanks105, because he is 27 today. So yeah, um, so, oh, yes, we can use another repel, because I got 10 repels, 10 super repel, and 10 max repels. Alright, so the eyes lit up, so we push the button. Let's see where we can go from down here now. Down here is a hidden item. And it's a protein. Not too bad. Just gotta heal up real quick. So yeah, this is all going to be one episode today, right now, and then I have somewhere to go, so, and then when I get back, I will be putting the next video up for Pokemon Red as well. I can't get out. This old place is one big puzzle. It's not a puzzle. It's actually very simple to get through. We are against Burglar Arnie. Who sends out a Charmander? A level 55 Charmander. So let's just use Fly for Flamey. I technically should be using Surfy a lot, only because for the gym. Yeah, I think I'll switch out to Surfy now, only so Surfy can get some experience points for the gym. Because the gym is all fire type Pokemon, which is going to be excellent for Surfy. Between Surfy and Madame Rouge, I, I know I'll do good in the gym. Next up is a Charmeleon, let's just stay in. Go for one more Hydro Pump on that thing, see if we can take it out. And there goes Charmeleon with a Hydro Pump as well. And we defeated Burglar Arnie. Oh no, my bag of loot. We got 884 winning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, let's use another repel. I got 10 of each because I know I'll be going through a lot of them today. So we found a Zinc as well. Exploring the whole thing so I can show you guys where to find each and every item. That's where you go to the next area. But we gotta... I'm gonna check out over here first to see if there's any other items I'm missing. Because I'm sure I always am. We picked up a calcium as well. Alright, so before I go up that area, I'm gonna go up the steps over here to see what's over here.
This place is like huge. Yeah, and you're going the wrong way to continue going, buddy. We are against Burglar Simon, who sends out a Nine Tails. Level 57, so they are definitely catching up to us very quickly. So I probably should have trained all the Pokemon to level 60 off screen, but I don't know what I was thinking when I did it. And I didn't. So I'm just gonna use a Hydro Pump on Ninetales. Hopefully we can take it out with one shot with one shot, and we do. We defeated Burglar Simon. Uh, yeah, we got 912 for winning. Sorry about that quick pause, quick speed up again. Just wanted to um, switch Pokemon. We got a max potion as well, which is amazing. One thing I probably should have stacked up on is, um, right now we can push this button to go up the stairs. I was expecting a rival battle on Birth Island, but apparently they didn't want a battle because Cayman just decides to use a Master Ball on the Deoxys instead of trying to battle it. But we found an iron as well, ladies and gentlemen. So that is really good. So push this button to make the eyes red so we can go through. And yeah, there's two ways to go here, but I'm just gonna battle everybody first. My mentor once lived here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. E.G. versus Scientist Brayden, who sends out a Magnemite. Go figure, the instant I switch out is when an electric type comes out. I'm just gonna switch straight out to Madame Rouge to see if we can take this thing out easily or not. Iron Wheel does nothing. Let's just go for an Earthquake. I forget if Magnemite's got, um, sturdy or not, but it don't look like it does because it took it straight out with a critical hit. Next up is a Magneton, let's just stay in. Go for one more Earthquake on it, to see if we can take it out a second time. And, in and indeed we do. We defeated Scientist Bladen. Phew! Overwhelming. We got 11,000 for winning, ladies and gentlemen. Nice. Now, it looks like we got a set of stairs down here. Let's see where the stairs can take us. And it looks like it takes us to a HP up item, which is pretty good. I'll be using all the items that I get for the status stuff before I go into the Pokemon League. Like, I'll, like in the video for the Pokemon League, it's when I'll be using them up. So I'm just going to take the big area down. Because they both take you to the same spot, just different directions. Who are you? There shouldn't be anyone here. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. E.G. versus Scientist Ted, who sends out an Electrode. I get a feeling he's going to use Self-Destruct, so I'm just going to switch out to Magony. I just get the feeling he's going to use Self-Destruct or Explosion. Nope, he's actually using Swift. Alright, let's go for Discharge then. Iron Wheel is going to do nothing to us. I'm just going to... I'm using, using Magni because I had a feeling he's going to use self-destruct or explosion. Let's just keep... And I was correct. He was going to use self-destruct. 
which is not very effective against Magni because of being Magni being a part steel and a self-destruct being a normal type move. So now they're gonna send out a wheezing. And let's send out Mr. Drevas. Mr. Drevas is about halfway to level 57. Let's go for a side beam on it. We do good damage on it and use the sludge bomb on us. Hopefully it don't get us poisoned. And it doesn't, so we can just take it out with a side beam. And we defeated Scientist Ted. Ouch. We got 10,600 for winning. Yes, that is definitely an ouch out of his pocket. Alright, so we're just using another repel. And here's... Do not take that exit right there. Because that will take you right back outside. So I'm just seeing if there's any other items up here. And there is not yet. Okay. So we found the carbo, so you head downstairs. This is just very simple to get through. Uh oh. Where am I now? You yeah, it looks like you it looks like we're in the basement of Lavender of Pokemon Mansion. And we're against Burglar Lewis. Who sends out a Growlithe? A level 56 Growlithe against the 56 Vaporeon. Who has Let's just go for Osmosis to get back this. I know it's hardly any health we lost, but you never know, we may actually end up needing the health. So we'll just take out the Growlithe with Osmosis. Next up is a Ponytail Ledge to stay in. And go for a Surf on it. And there goes the ponytail. Surfy grows to level 57. And is almost... The attack and defense are almost at 100. Which is amazing. And we defeat a Burglar Lewis. Ah woo! We get 896 for winning. Oh, let's just push the button over here. So we can head up to that next area over there and s see if there's any items over here, which there is one. And we picked up a full restore, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. Yes, we'll use another repel. Like I said, we're using these things like clockwork today. Here's a, here's a tr train all the way up there. This place is ideal for a lab. Look at all the space. Yeah, this mansion could be a huge lab. We are going to scientist Ivan, who sends out a magneton. So I'm just going to switch out to Madame Rouge, because Madame Rouge can be super effective against this thing for us. So it just uses Lock on, but we're going to use Earthquake on it. Critical hit takes out the Magneton. Next up is an Electrode. I'm going to take a chance and stay in with Madame Rouge. Just go for a quick Earthquake. See if we can take it out with one shot. Which we do. We defeated Scientist Ivan. What was that for? We got 11,400 for winning. So we are doing really good 
in this episode so far, ladies and gentlemen. I just gotta see if we can get in this area first. And yes, we can. Because here's gonna be the fourth. Here's gonna be TM14, which is Blizzard. And there's gonna be one more good TM that's gonna be in here as well that I'll be getting. And for those of you who do not know, it is a two turn grass type move. Alright, so we push the switch to go into the final spot for this building that we need. Or for the mansion. Diary, 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 July 5th, Guyana, South America. A new Pokemon was discovered deep in the jungle. July 10th. We christened the newly developed Pokemon Mew. February 6th. Mew gave birth. We named the newborn Mew 2. September 1st. Mew 2 is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Wait, there is a key under this diary. We obtained a secret key, ladies and gentlemen. Team Rocket. Just as we thought, you found that diary. Listen, kid. We can't let a brat like you do as you please forever. It'll hurt Team Rocket's pride over and over again, making it less than you see. So it's time to finish you. However strong you may be, if the two of us fight at the same time, you'll have no chance of winning. Don't you agree? Hee <laughs> hee. Sorry, baby. Now get ready to be thrashed. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus... Team Rocket Executive Ariana, who sends out a crowbar. Level 56 Crobat. They didn't even let us. I forgot to heal up the Pokemon. But hopefully, we'll be able to take out these guys really easily today. So they're, just, they're just using a wing attack, which is not very effective. So let's just go for a discharge. They're going. She's going to use a dis. Uh, frost. Frustration. We're just gonna use a discharge on it. Just to take out the crowbat with a discharge. Magni Gross lo level 58. Next up is the Needle Queen. Let's send out Surfy. I'm gonna see if Surfy can get to level 58 as well. Let's go for that Surf and see if we can take this thing out in one try. And yes, we just take it out really smoothly. So there goes the Needle Queen. Surfy is just about at level 58 as well. Let's switch back out to Magni again. And see if we can take out this melodic in one try as well. Uh, let's go for discharge. And we are faster than melodic as well, which is really good. So we got any yellows. And it's gonna use surf on us. Alright, let's just use a thunderbolt. Magni, please survive another surf. And of course, M Magni cannot. Alright, uh, Anger, can you take out this uh, melodic for us, please? With a uh, cross chop. Critical hit works perfectly. Because it's a high critical hit ratio. So, Anger takes out the melodic, and next comes out as an Espeon. 
Uh, let's send out Flamey. See if Flamey can take out this Espeon for us. Let's go for Fire Fang. So it raises its defense. Now it's going to be using Light Psychic. Which lowers Flamey's special defense a little bit. So we're just going to use a flamethrower on this thing. Just to see if we can take it out. Okay, so we're not able to take it out. Let's try for one more flamethrower. And sh it looks like Ariana used a hyper potion already on her Espeon. Go for one more flamethrower and see if we can take it out. And Flamey gets taken out instead. Alright, Surfy, can you take out this Espeon for us, please? With Surf. Evolution against Evolution, ladies and gentlemen. We take out the Espeon with a Surf, though. Surfy grows to level 58. Next up is a Gengar. Let's just send out Madame Rouge. Only so I can stall a little bit. So I can heal up the Fe or Fina Pokemon. Because I got a feeling we will be needing them. So I'm just going to use a few revives. One on Magni, one on Flamey. It uses Curse. Level 58 Gengar. Wow, they have gotten strong. And of course, now we have to use Madame Rouge. Alright, so let's just go for Sludge Bombs. And there goes Madame Rouge. Um, let's send out Magni. Hopefully they, hopefully they will um, heal our Pokemon up again like they did before. If not, we'll be using some items in the next battle as well if we have to. And there goes Gengar with a Discharge. We defeated Team Rocket Executive Ariana. This is not over yet. We got 2,320 for winning. We knew you'd come, so we decided to finish you right here. Now you are helpless and alone. It should be quite easy to finish you. I will show you how scary an angry adult can be. We are against... Looks like we are against Archer as well. So we're against Team Rocket Executive Archer as well, who starts off with a Crobat, level 57 Crobat. So let's switch right out to Magni to see if Magni can take out this Crobat again for us. It went for Sludge Bomb, but because of Magni being part Steel, it does not affect us at all. And Shadow Ball will be not very effective. So we're just going to take it out with a discharge. Hopefully we'll take it out in one try with a discharge. And yes we do. Next up is the Gyarados. I'm just going to stay right on in with Magni. Magni is a special attacker and not a physical attacker, but this could still hurt us. And it does take us out. So there goes Magni. Alright, Mr. Drevis, can you help us out please? Let's start off with Mean Look so it can't escape. 
Just like what they used on us before. It's using Outrage, which is a tough, strong move. Let's go for a Shadow Ball. We are faster, but we'll have to sacrifice Mr. Drevis. Sorry, Mr. Drevis. Uh, Anger, can you help us out here, please? Just use as much cross traps as you can. Alright, so it got a little bit of damage done, but it's not very effective. And now Gyarados gets confused from the fatigue. Let's go for another cross chop. We got it in the reds. It's still confused. Is it going to hit itself or no? Yes, it is. And I'll just take it out with a rock smash. After, it, after Archer uses a hyper potion. Of course. I'll just spam seismic toss. And of course it snaps out of confusion, it takes us out. Alright Sophie, can you help us out here please? Go for extreme speeds. Gyarados is confused again. I'm just going to use a Hyper Potion on Surfy. Gyarados is still confused. And it's going to use another Outrage. It's got to be getting close to having no Outrages left. So let's just go for another Extreme Speed and see if we can help take this thing out. This Gyarados is really tough, ladies and gentlemen. One more Extreme Speed should be enough to take out this Gyarados. And yes, it is. So if he almost gets to level 59, next is a Needle King, I'm just gonna stay right on in. In case of distance fast, I'm just using another Hyper Potion. It's gonna use Sludge Bomb on us. And get and it gets Surfy poisoned. Of course. Alright, let's go for a surf. And we are faster than it. Nice. There goes Nido King with a surf. Surfy gets to level 59. And all of Surfy's stats are over 100 or at 100. Nice. Next is the Umbreon. I'm just gonna switch out to Flamey. And hopefully take this thing out. Let's go for a flamethrower. Which does absolutely nothing. Alright, let's try it for a flame burst. Been a while. So, Umbreon lowers its speed but raises its attack, defense, attack and defense. Oh boy, so let's just go keep going for flamethrowers then. We burn Umbreon, but Synchro Norris has no effect on Flamey because of Flamey being a fire type. So it must be trying for something. He's using another Hyper Potion, but he didn't cure the burn because of... So we'll just keep using Fire Fang on it. Well, let's see how much Fire Fang does. 
It doesn't do anything, but we do get a flinch. Alright, let's just keep using flamethrowers then. I'll be healing up everybody after the battle. Alright, so he's just gonna take himself out with a burn. It looks like hurt itself for burn. And there goes Umbreon. Nice job, Flamey. Next up is an Alakazam. Alright, I'll just stay out, stay in with Flamey, I guess. Try for Fire Fang. Please don't take Flamey out. Hung on with Focus Band. Thank you, Flamey. That is just perfect. That is just lucky on our behalf, ladies and gentlemen. Go for one more Fire Fang. Please stay at one again. Nope, that's all I will for Flamey. Alright, Sophie, can you take it out with at least one? With a one extreme speed. We just need one just to take it out. And there goes the Alakazam. We defeated a ex Team Rocket Executive Archer. That's impossible. We got 2,360 for winning. But that's fine. Our boss has finally located the legendary Pokemon. And he'll catch it soon. You seem to be surprised. Do you know the legendary Pokemon that our boss is searching for? Is the one that's bur burned down this place 13 years ago? That Pokemon killed our boss's wife. That is why Kamen became a motherless child. And apparently, this legendary Pokemon completely obliterated another Pokemon of similar power. Okay, there's one last thing I need to tell you. Stop playing the hero, kid. This time, Team Rocket will win. Until then, farewell. Sorry about that, guys. I just had to switch the Pokemon around real quick. So I just like to have everybody in order as we need them. I got a feeling we'll be Mr. needing Mr. Drevis next. And here it is, TM22 for Solar Beam. So that is the item that we came here for. That's one of the items. The other one was the secret key. So we're just gonna use this escape rope to get back to Cinnabar. I'm just gonna heal up real quick. And I am back again. Sorry about that. Now we're gonna be going in. Hang on, let me see what's down here.
Here's the Pokemon Lab. I believe we have fossils we can go here as well. So let's just go in each of the room and see what we can do. Hello there. Do you happen to have a Raichu? Would you agree to trade for no my electrode? No, thank you. I'm sorry. I don't I have a Pikachu, but I'm not going to involve the Pikachu. I found this most remarkable fossil inside of Mount Moon. I think it's of a rare prehistoric Pokemon. Hi, do you have a Venonat? Want to trade it for my Tangela? No, thank you. I'll be doing all the trades separately so that you guys can see what the rest of the trades look like. I'll teach you a nifty move. Teach it to a Pokemon and watch the fun unfold. The move, it's a move called Metronoon. Does it strike your fancy? Let's just see what Pokemon can learn it. Only Anger can learn it. Ah, uh, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna teach him Anger a move. Eevee can evolve into one of seven kinds of Pokemon. Yes, that is true. I'm looking for the Pokemon Ponyta. Want to trade for my seal? No, thank you. Hiya. I'm an important doctor. Yes, very much so indeed. Here, I study po rare Pokemon fossils. All the time I study. You, you have a fossil for me? So we have the Helix Fossil, Dome Fossil, and Old Amber. Let's start off with the Helix Fossil. Oh, that is Helix Fossil. It is. It is a fossil of Ammonite, a Pokemon that is already ex extinct. My resurrection machine will make it that Pokemon live again. Yes. So you hurry and give me that. Hand over the fossil to the weird doctor. Okay, I did it. Your Pokemon is back to life. It was Ammonite, I think. So we received an Ammonite. Let's see what Nick. Let's see what gender it is. It's a um. I'm just gonna name it Shelly, but with one L instead of two L's. Just to make it sound like it's not a girl. So I'm just gonna name it. Shelly the Ammonite. Ammonite was transferred to Bill's PC and was placed in box 2. Hiya. Alright, let's just... Alright, let's do a dome. Oh, that is dome fossil. It is. It is fossil of Kabuto. A Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. Yes. So you hurry and give me that. And then he does his magic and Kabuto is back to life. So we got Kabuto as well. Kabuto is a boy. I'm just going to name it Cutter. Because of the way that Kabutops has his sharp, has the sharp claws. So I'm gonna welcome, like you guys to welcome Cl Cutter the Kabuto. Kabuto was transferred to Bill's PC. It was placed in box two. And then we have one more to do as well. Old Amber. Fossil of Aerodactyl, a Pokemon that is already extinct. My resurrection machine will make that Pokemon live again. Yes. Alright, so we're just gonna hand over the old amber as well. Alright, and Aerodactyl is back to life. I'm just gonna name this. I'm gonna name Aerodactyl Lance. Only because he likes to catch and train dragons and dragons. And Aerodactyl's moves at times can be of a dragon. So we got the three fossil Pokemon. Let me show you guys what they all look like while I'm here. Yeah, alright. I'll just be back with you in one second. Hey, 
And I'm back. Sorry about that. I'm just going to show you guys what um, the fossils look like. Alright, so here's Ammonite. Shelly the Ammonite. Ability of Swift Swim, which raises the speed in, in the rain. And then there's Constricting the Withdrawal right now. And it is a special attacker. Cutter the Kabuto is a physical attacker with battle armor, so it blocks critical hits, and it knows to move Scratch and Harden. An Aerodactyl. Rockhead, which prevents recoil damage, so that's really good, and it's a physical attacker, and it knows to move Wing Attack, Supersonic, Bite, and Scary Face. So that is actually really good. And as you guys can see, I still have Lena the Pikachu in here. I will be training her off screen because I'm going to be using her for the Pokemon League. And that is going to be it for this episode of. Let's play Pokemon Dark Violet version. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And in the next episode, I will be going. I will be. We will be going into Cinnabar Gym to take on Blaine and to obtain our eighth and final gym badge in the Cantor region. And then the episode after that, we will. I will try to go after the legendary birds. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres, so you guys can see their exact locations as well. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later on today for another episode of Let's Let's Race Pokemon Red and Blue with JJ Squirtle for the um, Nuzlocke. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day, everyone.